Get up. Get on the ground and do one push up. I'll do it with you. By doing this, it got you out of your comfort zone, and being down on the ground entices you to want to rep out more than just one push up. See, the question, how do you actually be consistent, has a very easy answer to it. Hey, my name is David, and in this episode, I will show you the method to be consistent in anything. By getting on the ground and doing one push up, you have built a little bit of discipline. To be consistent in anything, you might have to start by doing the bare minimum. For example, reading a whole book in one sitting is easier said than done because of the monkey fried brains we all have. The fact that you can't even watch the video all the way through proves to me that your brain is fried. So I challenge you to take your fingers off the screen, relax, and actually learn something. Anyway, the best thing you can do when it comes to reading a book front to back is to get rid of your ego and just read one page a day of a book you actually have interest in. I recently completed the book Follow the Cloud by Pastor John Stickle and it took me four months to finish. It did take me a long time to finish one book, but you know what? I did it. Most people in Gen Z can't even get themselves to read a book for five minutes. But by saying to yourself, read one page of this book today, you are indirectly telling your brain's ego to read more than one page of that book. So in the end, you tricked your brain to actually enjoy and read the book. The real secret to consistency from reading a paper book to working out is by doing the bare minimum and building up to where you can read up to an hour in one sitting and complete a full one hour and 30 minute workout. By the just show up mentality, it forces your brain's ego to sit down for one second and then do the thing that you didn't want to do and then reactivating your brain's ego by doing more than what you expected that you were going to do. So if the first step to becoming more consistent was to start by doing the bare minimum, the question you might start to ask is how do I actually build up to a big task? Proverbs 13, 11. Wealth gained hastily will dwindle, but whoever gathers little by little will increase it. This proverb really emphasizes the difference between doing something too big and then failing and doing something little by little and increasing. Because it's a new year, many people will start to go to the gym, but those who immediately jump into a full push-pull legs split will inevitably quit within a week because they did more than they can do at that time. But then there are those who start their first workout at the gym with a simple beginner friendly full body workout. That person is more likely to build up to a full push pull leg split and getting jacked compared to the first group. It's important to remember that we all crawled before we walked and that we all made sounds before speaking words. You need to reject your egotistical brain and start from rock bottom and build yourself up. In Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules for Life, the fourth rule is compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. This rule is valid because many of us today are stuck in the vicious cycle of comparison and at the end of the day, we feel miserable. Let us take the fourth rule and apply it to our lives so that we become joyful when we find ourselves becoming a better versions of ourselves every day. Compare yourself to who you were yesterday and beat that person. I started this channel from rock bottom and see how much it grew with the goal to share my journey as a new creation in Christ. And in little over six months, I've attracted over 5,000 people to subscribe and gained over 100,000 views. By doing little by little, I've grown in my video editing, filming, and talking skills. And by doing the bare minimum and taking things step by step, I've got to where I am now. The last point I want to make is found in the story of the famous race between the tortoise and the hare. You see, the story is known for the confident hare who is faster than the tortoise and because of that finds himself falling asleep near the finish line knowing that the tortoise would not win. 
However, slowly but surely, the tortoise catches up. The hare, being super blind to the pace of the tortoise, continues to sleep and rest. While the tortoise is swiftly and steadily moving towards the finish line, one slow step at a time. During the last few steps before the tortoise crosses the finish line, the hare finally jumps up and attempts to steal the race from the tortoise, but ultimately fails due to the tortoise's arduous efforts of completing the race. So in the end, the tortoise is crowned the victor. The point I'm trying to make is that slowly but surely, you will start to become more consistent, whether that be in the gym, your diet, or reading a book one page at a time. It's alright if you forget or skip a couple of days. Ultimately what you want is an upward trend. There might be a few dips, but don't worry. Because in the grand scheme of things, you are improving and becoming more consistent. The real secret to becoming consistent in anything is by doing the bare minimum when you are first starting out. Doing it one little step by giving yourself time and slowly but surely, you will become consistent in that task and it will become a part of your daily life which is the goal. Consistently do the things you know you need to do and dominate 2024. Happy New Year and do the hard work because the job isn't finished. During the last few steps, before the tortoise crosses 